Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of Dragon's Durance. In this episode, we're actually going to explore Eloram's base a bit before actually heading off to do some of our own stuff. So, this is the entrance to her, well, nether area. So, nether fast traveling for the win. So, this seems like a catacomb. And if you just look at the base, yeah, this is all of hers and console girl's base. So let's look around. Currently there's this castle here, which she seems to... I don't think she really finished it per se, but let's take a look in. I think there's... Oh, what are you? Hmm. I really gotta check the Omcraft stuff. And she killed console. Poor console will never be the same again. Okay, so just taking a look around, it seems like she has a nice little enchanting table. Obviously, zombie brains are not enchantable, but the pick is will work, and it seems like it goes up to level 30. This looks like some random enchantments that she worked on, and this seems like some sort of resmelting or some other thing. I have no clue. She has way more gems than I do, and another sword, which seems like a Thaumium sword. Okay, so other than that, and other than just a few chests, it doesn't look like there's much else currently in this building, other than it seems like there's a downstairs. Okay, what are you? You are a chest with soul shards. Ooh, I better not show Shadow that. He might not be happy, so it seems like there's an XOR gate there controlling both of the doors. And an interesting table over there, so let's actually go outside so that we can see the rest of the base because there is a lot in this base and I don't want to spend too much time over there. Huh, that looks interesting. Let's look what's over there. Now let's look over here first because we're going to need some time for it to load. So there are a bunch of wrath lamps uh, just lighting the place. It seems like this is, from what I see, a rudimentary tree farm, though it doesn't really have much in it. Yeah, it looks like some sort of design that she didn't really finish, but over here seems like a mega tree farm. So a piston tree farm that must place the saplings and the bone meal, push sand down, and then just eat everything and collect all the saplings through that water channel which then goes over to here it looks like it will go and replant everything enter chest with some wheat funnily enough and all of the logic that seems to be there so she's using state timers and timers don't want to crash so I'll get away from there Definitely different from what Shadow did. And a random door there. So we got Cactus Farm as well. And it looks like my frame rate is dropping a bit. Because this is a lot of stuff. And it seems like there's one golem that's breaking the nether wart. And planting some new stuff. And the rest is just getting placed. There's some mushrooms. Cactus Farm. Oh right, saw there. Uh, reed Farm. Lots of melons and etc. Let's get out of here and check what's in here. Hmm, Ello didn't show me this place. So this looks like it's a packager to make string is one of them. And wheat probably is another. Yes, this is a wheat machine it looks like. Wheat machine and bone meal getting placed in there to unpackage it. Is that an unpackager? No, those are other stuff. And this seems like a hemp thing. Not hemp. Flax. And did I just activate that? No, it's an item detector that's actually doing that. So when there's not enough wheat, this must be feeding into something else then. That's quite interesting. I don't know where that ender chest is going. And it seems like there's some potatoes over here. So moving onwards state timer to keep this on it seems cow farm and some vines that must be farmed as well so that's the cleric district where we originally came from and it seems that Elram has 
down the Yggdrasil. And there's Elrim over there. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? And there's a creeper. Let's take down the creeper because Elo's base is killing me. <sighs> Your creepers always seem to kill me, okay? That's just really annoying. Okay, so here's the Yggdrasil, it seems, and this is very big. Wow. That's our oh, and we got some oil over here, so this must be a newer building. So this must be some Railcraft Crusoe oil. And, uh, okay, so a bunch of rails, some HS reels, and neat. And, oh, and it seems that this is connected to the Yggdrasil over here, and it seems that there is a centralized power network. We'll probably check the, yeah, I'm keeping it, calling it the Yggdrasil. Okay. Okay, so creosote oil, obviously through the coke ovens, fed by wood, it seems. And it seems that this is definitely a gang. Okay, this is obviously some output. This is pulling all the charcoal that gets made. And this is definitely a system I'd like to see later on. Maybe I can make my own. Currently, I don't have any use for any sort of rails, so that's going to take a while. But she definitely has enough of everything here. Wonder, no, she must be getting her wood from the tree farm. So let's go down again, and then just go. Hey, let me down. Uh, it won't let you down. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you. Oh, that's a lot of power. So how much? Yeah, that's a lot of... <laughs> so it seems like she's out of steel now. So I need some more steel. And so she's probably getting steel off of a other thing. So sorry we about that. And... Definitely enough red rock to get on with, that's for sure. And must probably... Okay, yeah. Probably slow, yeah. And I don't think there's any other methods towards it. So let's look over here. This is the Yggdrasil, which seems to be... Well, it's chunk-loaded, as we can see up there. Let's take a peek at one of the arms. Ah, zombie pigment shard, really? So, I wonder how's the Wither Skeletons. Okay, how much energy? Okay, so this is obviously braked. And because it's all full, but it should charge up again. Well, it should start using the energy from that as soon as all of the solar panels, which I think there's a bunch at the top. And I hope the water drop is safe. Knowing Elo, she might have miscalculated, should we say. So, a bunch of high-voltage cable. Oop, that was close. Don't want to drop. Don't want to drop. Okay, just looking at the mini-map. Yeah, I thought so. Almost done. Just want to make sure. So, let's just take a look from over here. Can we actually? Nope. It doesn't seem like it. Yep, okay, we can. Okay, that is huge. So, we also have the cone from a pwn. Yeah, I figured that. Okay, let's just drop down and check that, as she named it, the cone of pwn. Ooh, that just 
Duh. I always get leery of those, the fact that I have to drop down. I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, something called instinct. You know, the instinct of not wanting to die. It might be a little helpful. So those seem like they are dummy stairs. So let's actually get out of here and check her. Well, this is her red power energy, it seems. And we're not going to go into... Yeah, let's go into this building. We need to go through it anyways. Okay, so this definitely got cleaned up a bit. This is her ore processing area. So all of the ore that she has, including tungsten, including cobble as well, gets processed here. So the ore comes in from there. It goes in. This is a barrel buffer using all of these so it's extracting all the gold from there it seems i don't know where must be from her zombie pigment farm oh that little cheaty anyways going onwards i don't think these do anything currently i'm not too sure i'd have to analyze it a bit so it pulls the items out and up there into the next room which then it goes to these grinders grinds up all of the ores then goes to these mixers, which then clean them up. These make sure that it's full of water, pulls the items out as well, sends them to the appropriate buffer. So this helps refill the water using the same buckets, since I don't think we have any sort of tin can. So it then gets slag furnace so that it goes to the final step, which is up here and going to all of these crystallizers. As you can see, it's still currently going through the crystallization process. It seems like it's mostly silver, mostly silver and lead. So the reduced lead chunks are going to get uh, crystallized. And this is her, as she names it, the Cone of Pone. Not my name for it. That's what she called it. So let's take a better look from up here. And you can see lots and lots of mirrors more silver than i currently have right now so it's definitely something oh she has iron golems as well so ah that must be her villagers so villager trading must be okay so let's get down to here and it seems like it's every three levels, though I think every two might work, though there might have to be a solid block there instead of the... Yeah, I'm going to have to see uh, to the northwest. It looks like there's a bunch of buildings. That, that's what I'm thinking it is. And up, oh, and here's the lots of lag in this. Don't worry, it's just... Vi uh, Bunch of stuff of stuffness. Just frame rate lag. Yes, that's it. Okay, so let's go over there, check the villagers. And it seems like it. How many does she have? What are you farming? Oh my goodness. Not bad. Yep, it looks like there's villagers here. And you can get a bunch of stuff with the emeralds. It seems like, once again, horrible trades. But that's not too bad. Ooh, a mini golem. Baby golem. <laughs> oh, I'm not her master. <laughs> yeah, cute and lethal. Kind of like LRM. Eh, sorry, did I say that? So... More than enough witches, there must be some way to sterilize that, so to speak, so you can get a good trade. Gonna need to find a way to get out of here. She came from this direction, so I'm guessing this. Nope. Uh, let me find a way out of here. I think I found a flaw in her design. Okay, so maybe not a flaw, considering I can't get out here. Oh, but I can. So, we saw the ore processing building. There's an energy network uh this is her storage area which i don't think i'm gonna take anything of but just look at all that copper look at it that is a lot of copper wow and not too sure what that is that must be lead gold silver iron 
flowers and ink sacks and a bunch of dust. She has now she actually has redstone in here, which is a relief, and a bunch of pumpkins, plant matter, etc. And this seems like her uh, building station. It's not quite mine is not gonna be this. Uh, fancy to so to speak and this seems like her refinery station and this must be for all of the wrath fire stuff okay so I think we have everything here that's not bad not bad at all hmm so this must take in iron maybe no it takes in craft packets so that's block breaking hmm I have no idea how this works. Okay, so, okay, that's not true, but I have no idea how to explain the dart thing. And this is probably the last thing that we need to look at. Seems like a mossy stone area. I think I hear some zombies. Zombies, where are you? I think we're missing something. Yep, must be. Went bigger and better. <laughs> so all that looks like she needs to do is send the power to the brick workstation over here. That seems like all it is. Wow, this is very in impressive. This is a very impressive base. Okay, so I think that's everything that's in here. So I think that's all for this area. Toodles. Okay, so let's actually go back to the nether hub, go outwards, and try to find some way of not being... Uh, well, considering our stuff is a little lackluster in comparison I think it's best to start gradually raising the bar so to speak okay that was quite interesting when I came out there were three creepers waiting for me waiting at my base that was bass yes all my bases are belong to us yeah, that was, it was close to that, Elo. Okay, so, seeing as she can't hear me, let's move onwards to some more fun stuff. That was my fail attempt at a floating tree. It did not work out well. Or, rather, it's not working out well. Anyway, so, some of the things that we're going to need to upgrade is, well, we need to refine most of our ores, and we're going to need to get to the point where we get to, well, I think one of the main things we need to do is refining of ores. So we're going to need a lot more silver. So not just more silver, but some gold and etc. for all the refining machines. What the? I don't remember that tree there. Did someone place something there? That's a little odd. So next thing that we need in our equipment is to get a, not a mixer, but I believe it's a grinder. A grinder requires some lead ingots, a motor, which you saw before, and a diamond cutting head. Diamond cutting head requires shards, diamond shards, and the diamond shards require a block of diamond, craft packet maker, or stamper. Is it a stamper or a maker? Okay, we got our that thing at least so we will be able to get everything we got I think we will have enough gunpowder for everything though gunpowder seems like it's going to be very unlikely to gather right now at least any no let there be gunpowder yes we got five gunpowder so unless TNT can give us more let's check TNT we can make a TNT card so we need Basically, we are going to need 10 more. So, no matter, we got some other stuff that we can at least work on. What I think we can do now that we actually have aura in this area, as you can tell by the fully charged wand, is start with our Thomcraft. So, Thomcraft, I don't think I'm going to start it in this building. We should probably make a rudiment. Why shouldn't I make it in this building? 
this would actually be a very lovely Thomcraft building. We pretty much will have a space for everything. We can put a table over there and an area for a bunch of essences and replace all this stuff with Nitor and then it'll be a perfect Thomcraft, Thomcraft building. So let's actually start a Thomcraft building right here. So first things first, we're going to need to get a few things such as actual uh, bricks. Let's get stone bricks over here. We're going to need to move that light and we're going to need netherrack here for a fire. Eventually we'll put it to like a hapachi, hipachi rather? Is it a hapachi or a hapachi? First things we're, first, we're going to need some netherrack, so let's check if we have any netherrack. If not, we're going to have to check in the nether for some netherrack because that'd be kind of useful for netherrack. Netherrack, netherrack, go nether, 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 netherrack. Da -da -ba -ba, we don't have any netherrack. We're gonna go have to find some, and if we don't, you can say, hey, gonna blow up today. I want some netherrack, netherrack, go nether, 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 netherrack. Da -dum, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, be right back. Okay, now that I am back with the rack, hey, let me help. There we go. Okay, so now that we're back with the rack, we can actually place down our nether rack and get everything well ignited so do I actually have an igniter yeah I'm thinking we should make a yeah make a proper nexus later okay so okay what can we do we got our nether rack we're going to need a way to ignite everything so we're going to need to get, uh, um, we might have to remake it, so this, and this, okay. Ah, high speed rails, thank goodness, LRM, you are making high speed rails, you are like a god. No, not quite. Okay, so, let's get our flint and steel, we probably have one already, but oh well. Let's make sure we don't blow up on LRM's high-speed rails, because that would be a little disastrous. Okay, there we go. That might be a bit difficult. Okay, there's LRM. And just going to turn this... Okay, turning it into my Thumbcraft room, and maybe I should tell her I'm recording. Nah. Yeah, I already told her. Okay, so where's my uh, actual iron? We should pray get some iron, etc. And here we go. So iron, we'll just need to make a cauldron. A simple cauldron should do for what we need to do. At least getting started, that is. So we got that, and we already had some iron here. That would have been useful to know. That is not how I make it. There we go. Now that we got our cauldron. Probably. Okay, so let's get this. Get that, and we're going to need a water source eventually, so we'll probably need a fancy water area for that. So what I think I'll do it's actually probably do I have my diamond handsaw anywhere? Diamond handsaw, diamond handsaw. Okay, where is my diamond handsaw? It must be in here. No, it isn't. It must be in here. I'll get it eventually. Okay. Do I even have a diamond handsaw, or was it blown up in one of my uh, little adventures? I'm trying to find it. Hmm. Be right back. Okay, I can't find my handsaw anywhere, so I'm probably going to have to remake it. Let's make a sapphire one since we don't need any complex blocks, though that stone is certainly complex, I must say. Uh-huh. Okay, that's a little creepy there way. So, getting this here, we got a diamond handsaw. We'll make at least a bunch of covers. Yeah, covers. Let's make covers. Covers are good. Covers, covers, covers. What to do without covers? Okay, now that we got our sanity completely in check, 
Yes, we'll just need to just bring over these stone brick covers, make a nice little area for our water supply. And this place is even more of a death trap than Ellos. Great, I need to put lights at the top. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's put some of these down. And we're going to need to cut up one of these at least. And we'll get that eventually. And now that everything is nice and dandy, we'll place that there. And we need to just get the water. So one here. We're going to need one more bucket's worth. And going to get some food, which is always helpful. We are going to run out of food really soon, so we need to find a better source of it. Yeah, hello to you, too. Oh, okay, so it's too hello. Okay, that was a little crazy. Uh, um, bam! Ooh, that sounded, that looked like it hurt. Ah! Okay, so now that we got the final bit of water. Anyone shooting at me? Probably my imagination. Yes, that's something to say in a base this dangerous. Got our infinite water. We'll just throw it in here. Obvious, no, I can't do that yet. Uh, whatever. Let's get our wand of magic. Zap. Okay, use 25 vis, rather. And now we can put our water in here, and we'll be able to do some researching. So I'm thinking this will be the research corner, quote-unquote. We'll put everything else that we need later in there. Um, all of this should just go into here. We don't need any of that. It's just clogging our inventory, and I think we're good. So, lock and block. And block. Okay, now that we have that, um, we're going to need some tables. So if we check the recipe for the table, we got wood and more wood. So we need three of those, I think. And you thought mine was bad. Basically, Conjurex Base, I believe, is the one where there is no floor, pretty much. You have... Ah, oh, I made too many of them. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Okay, so let's get our wood here. Guess we're going to need to replace that soon. And we're going to need one, two, three of these. And zombie brains. Never forget the zombie brains. Okay, so research table we'll put here. And we'll put the crafting table we can't put it there we can't put it there so what we can do is probably have it in another location unless out 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 apparently water is hot when it's boiling ah, i always forget that rule okay so now that we have no place uh, that'll be good zap there we go so we are going to need to take that out and we're going to need to make some scribing tools to finish the table we check the scribing tools, it'll just be glass, feather, and ink sack. Do I even have all of that? Probably not. And always check my blind spot, making sure nothing attacks me. And what I'm really hoping to get is to get to the Nitor stage because it'll be a lot better looking, so to speak. So we got sulfuric acid, that's not what we need. We need to. Almost done. Okay, need to get some glass and probably going to. Oh, glass! Yay! Stop. And we're probably going to need some feathers to finish it off. So feathers, ink sack, that's pretty much on our to-do list. But we're probably going to just need to bring this over. And then it seems like Ello is not happy that I'm taking so long. So we might have to end it. Oh, come on! That just sucks. That just sucks. Let's put that there and fancy particles. So I think the next thing that we're going to need to do is probably tidy this up a bit. Maybe put a wall or ceiling or something to that effect so that the zombies can't attack me while I'm in here. And also a piston door might be helpful. Though I'm not too sure how practical it would be unless we want to cover the entire area with uh, designs. Well, 
That's all the time we have for this episode of Dragon's Durance. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. Wave time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.